Hey you guys, welcome back. Uh, so I am still working on uh, um, Calvin's backspacer for his quatch. So I took off the big chunk and I've just been kind of slowly sanding it down. But I asked him today if he would mind if I were to put in a little texture. So that's what I'm going to do. He said, do what you want to do. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to wing it, to be quite honest. I have an idea, but um, I'm just going to start off with this 400 grit. I think it's 400 grit. Uh, something like that. Maybe 200, actually. So I'm going to just, instead of smoothing it the way I was, I'm going to do a rough pass and try to make it as even as possible. So just to explain how this thing was, um, because I lost the initial uh, video showing the um, piece and how I took the chunk off, I think. I'll have to look on Google and see if it backed up. So I'm just going to, because I knew this was gonna create an issue, this dent right here. And this dent met with like the very end of the knife, the um, back end of the knife. So I just gotta figure out how I can make that look okay. But also these, aren't perfectly even either so one of the humps is like longer than the other so this one's shorter but um so i'm just gonna try to i don't know just kind of make this blend in a little better because it's gonna it's gonna look like a butt <laughs> it already does <laughs> it's a little butt that's exactly what it is <laughs> so if i can't I'm just gonna leave a rough texture on it. That way it will just, when it patinas, it'll have kind of some like chunks of shiny uh, copper. So um, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. Hold on just a second. All right, so I, t I decided what I'm gonna do is put the texture in first and then go over it because the lines that I put in the rear end of it with this little diamond covered thing, <laughs> um, what I, the lines I put into it, it because copper is a very soft metal material, um, it'll be easy to put some nice lines in there. And then I'll just go over the top once uh, and, and kind of leave a, a roughness to it. Yeah, let's do it.
this is the uh, texture is underneath all of this chunkiness you see on top. So what I'll do is I'll go over it with the other uh, bit with the sandpaper on it, with the rough sandpaper, because I don't want them to get cut by it either. So I'll go over it and then I'll do my lines again because it's kind of like a jeweling effect that I'm doing. So yeah, I'll go over it with that and then I'll sharpen up the shiny parts a little. You ready for the finished product? Let's, uh, it's not that big of a deal, Stella, just show them. All right, here she blows. Hopefully he doesn't have sensitive hands. It's not exactly like sharp, but there are little pokies. It's not like, you know, it's not gonna make you bleed or anything like that, but you never know. You never know how one person's hand is compared to somebody else's hand, you know? So I, I worked, I did what I could. I put a scratch pattern on here because I thought it looked really nice. I think it makes it look a little rustic or, I don't know, just like hardcore. <laughs> a little scratch pattern so that it's not just smooth and then this is like jeweled, you know? Didn't want it to feel left out. Yeah, so I hope he likes it. Um, with the shape that thing was, there wasn't much I could do about the butt. So he's going to have a butt on the butt of his knife. I'll be showing you guys the uh, quatch all put back together pretty soon too. Or I'll just add it to this, uh, this here video. So let's just put it back together. We'll do that on camera.
Mindy. That's where the oats. Let's see, I guess. Maybe one one goes here. I think I can make it over there. I don't know. Let's see. I guess we'll find out. Let's find out. Out. <laughs> so many oats. All right. Yeah. Let me see. This one goes here. I lost one. Thank goodness. Just a tad smidge of this stuff. You know, that way your screws just don't back out on you. Not that it's definite that they will. I don't know, I guess I guess like a little added security. Okay. Let's tighten them all up nice and evenly. I can't believe I need the body screws T6s. That's insane. Let's see. Let's like this. Just round in a circle, kind of. Let's do this. Ooh, that's so smooth. Oh my god. That's so smooth. So, hopefully. So here's the finished product. So it still sticks out a little bit, but it's rounded off so it nestles in the, in the palm, if your palm goes that far down. I hope this works for him. Man, this thing is so smooth. Ooh, crazy. But, man, I love Kaiser's action. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. Very cool. So the Quatch by Kaiser, uh, Dmitry Ozarenko. He was thinking outside of the box with this one. This is definitely a unique looking knife. I love the, this modified cleaver, I, I guess it would be. I mean, this shape up here is so interesting to me. And then the handles are actually very comfortable. And the, uh, the pocket clip, the only thing you can really feel is this little ramp right here. But other than that, you don't really feel it. I'm not a big fan of this pocket clip, but I, I feel like it suits this knife, you know. Pretty interesting knife, that's for sure. So, and then if you need to, you can choke up on the back of that flipper tab right there and kind of use the sh the plunge grind as a choil if you needed to. There's plenty of meat on that blade. The sharpening choil is fantastic, I have to say. It's a pretty um, unique knife and I think it could be extremely useful in a utilitarian type of atmosphere, you know? but for pretty much anything but uh, self-defense. <laughs> That's about it. I'm sure you could do a little damage, but it's not a very stabby knife. Very cool though. It was uh, interesting looking on the backspacer. Man, this thing is so smooth. Really nice. All right, cool. Well, I hope he likes it. I hope I did enough on there for him. Um, you know, I would hate for him to not like it when he send it back, you know, that would suck. What was this one, N690? Yeah, N690. Really easy to sharpen. I love N690 for that reason. Plus it's stainless still. Very cool. I hope he likes it. scratch pattern on there so that it isn't just a solid smooth surface yeah I'm gonna let him know I'm done and see if he would like me to post the video just in case he doesn't like it so if he doesn't like it 
I still have it in my possession so I can do something else to try and fix it. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining me on the journey to make a smaller backspacer for the quatch because that thing was crazy big. It stuck out really far. <laughs> anyway, I had fun doing it, and I hope you had fun watching. See you soon.